Good evening. Good evening. I want to first thank Mrs. Critcher for inviting me to participate in this candlelight vigil tonight. I want to tell you that it, it is indeed a privilege for me to share with all of you tonight. I want to recognize uh, some public officials that are here tonight also in support. Uh, our council members, Councilman Efferson and Council Member Jerry Bowman. And of course, I know the others will be introduced, but we have President of our Cattle Parish Commission, Mr. Matthew Lynn. And of course, we have, and of course, we have another commissioner there, Mr. Mike. How are you doing tonight? And if there be any other uh, public officials, thank you so much for coming to share tonight. I'd like to say several things to you, and I did make notes so that I would not forget. Our hearts and our prayers go out to the families of the victims impacted by last weekend's awful tragedy in Orlando. It is unfortunate when we cannot safely enjoy a good quality of life because of hatred. Standing together against bigotry is the only way to eliminate hatred. Standing together. I truly believe that unity is the fuel that allows common people to obtain amazing results. It is also my belief that there is no problem we as leaders and citizens cannot solve together through communication, through understanding, through respect for one another, and through compromise. So let's reach across our streets. Let's extend across our city, state, and nation in unity to make our country better and safer for every single citizen. I, I know and I sincerely believe that unity is built from a shared hope and dream that creates a wonderful well-being for everyone, where we all are treated with respect and with dignity. Unity will allow us to jointly provide more focused, effective responses to problems that divide this nation, and consequently allow us to experience the true beauty of diversity. I believe that unity will cause us all to stand up together and take pride in our city, guard it from elements of crime and hatred, and move us to a more harmonious and loving community. And lastly, I know and believe that unity is what it will take to make Shreveport and our nation a great place to call home. We should all continue to be vigilant as we go about our daily routines in this changing world. Again, please remember those families and friends across America who are in prayer tonight, whose hearts are broken tonight because of the awful tragedy that occurred in Orlando. God bless you and God keep you.